Hey everybody, it's Mark C. Winters, and today I'm talking to you owners. With visionaries and integrators, we find that almost all the time, the visionary is actually also an owner in the business. And almost half the time, the integrator is as well. So as owners, there's some special things you need to think about in terms of how you play and how you think about your role as an owner and potentially your role as an employee in the business. There's a concept we call the owner's box. So imagine a dark solid line above the accountability chart and a box sitting above that. That's the owner's box. That's where the owners meet and work together on major owner specific decisions and really that's where you're going to have your needs met as an owner. Uh, there's two entitlements that you have as an owner. One is you, you have a right to your share of the profits and you should get that. Second thing is you're really the ultimate decision authority and on some big major decisions you know you're going to have your vote or however that mechanism works for your group you're going to be able to have your input or your decision authority there. That's it. What you'll notice is missing from that list is you don't have the right to be an employee necessarily in the business. As owners you're focused on the long term the greater good of the organization. So from that perspective, you're trying to put the structure in place that's going to get us to where we're trying to go. Within that structure, you want to have the right seats that you need. And, and that seat is going to drive what the right roles are and ultimately what the right person is going to look like in that seat. So if you're not that right person, you really have an obligation to go out there in the world and find somebody who is the right person to drive this organization towards the interest of the greater good and long term. If you are that right person, then we need you to step inside there and fill that. But I want you to really understand you don't have the right to be an employee. Imagine someone who owned a baseball team. Just because they own the baseball team doesn't mean they have a right to take the field. Okay. If you are the right person, though, and you're going to play in one of those seats, you're going to be an employee of the business as well, there's a couple of ground rules that I want you to keep in mind. Number one is you must be fully accountable, just like anybody else that you would put in that seat. Number two, it's important that you set the example and really be what you want to see from all the other employees in the organization. It's also important that you don't play the owner card, that you don't throw down this owner trump card anytime that you don't want to do something or you want the rules to be different for you than they are for everyone else. Imagine with using our baseball analogy, if the catcher just thought it was you know, kind of a hassle or too inconvenient to throw the ball back to the pitcher after every pitch, so we have to stop down and wait for the first baseman to come down and pick up the ball and get it back, or the third baseman to do the same thing. It just wouldn't work. It blows the integrity of the whole thing, and it certainly doesn't help us win. Remember, if you're, as an employee, not the right person in the right seat, you can be fired. Same rules apply to the owners of the business. Three key points to wrap this one up. Owners working in the business must be the right person, the right seat. Number two, remember your hat. If you're the owner, you're in the owner's box, wear that hat. If you're an employee playing as a player in the organization, remember that hat and play just like they would. Finally, number three, set the example. Play by the rules. Be what you want to see in the organization. All right? Thanks for watching today. At Rocket Fuel, we're all about helping create the most powerful visionary integrator duos on the planet. And we do that by helping you crystallize your thinking about what that should look like, get connected with each other, and then ultimately maximize that relationship to make it as powerful as it can be. So if you want more, please check us out on rocketfuelnow.com. And several things that I'd like you to do there, or at least check out. Number one, sign up to get our weekly video. So if you like this one, we do this every week. So please be sure you don't miss any. Uh, number two, take the visionary integrator assessments. Go on there and see really how you're wired. See what your edge of that two-piece puzzle really looks like. Number three, join our private groups just for visionaries and integrators. A lot of really interesting, cool things going on inside there you don't want to miss out on. Number four, check out the Integrator Mastery Forum. Did another video on that. Might be something good for you. Uh, want to get on the waiting list and, and take advantage of that opportunity. And number five, read Rocket Fuel. If you haven't read the book already, please go read that. That's where it all started. And if you liked it, we'd love to see a review from you out there. We really love hearing that kind of feedback. So thanks for watching. Until next time, go Rocket!